New video today of the moment when a Frederick, Colorado police officer takes Chris Watts into custody, handcuffing him and charging him with the murders of his pregnant wife, Shanann, and two young daughters, Bella and Cece, all captured on the officer's body cam. Chris, don't stand up for me. I'm going to have you face that wall over there. Just face it. Lift up your hands. Okay, come on, face this wall. Hey, go and face me. Okay, you don't have anything on me, right? Okay, nothing in your pockets? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and face that other wall behind you. I'm just going to search you real quick. Search your legs further. Okay, turn around and face me. No earrings, necklaces, anything like that? Okay. Let's walk out this way. Go straight. Go out that door to your left. And after getting into that police cruiser, his next stop, Weld County Jail. And two weeks ago, Watts pleaded guilty and was sentenced to multiple life sentences for his unthinkable crimes against his family. Now Chris Watts, who is known as inmate number 182906, has been awaiting final transfer to the prison where he will serve out his multiple life sentences. And today, we now know that that prison will not be in the state of Colorado because of concerns for Watts' safety. Which brings us to the big question, is there any prison state or federal where Chris Watts will be safe. Joining us now, Larry Levine. He spent uh, time as an inmate, 11 different federal correctional facilities. It's with WallStreetPrisonConsultants.com, basically advises people on how to su survive life behind bars. So you surprised at all Watts moved out of Colorado? Well, remember, I predicted this last time I was on with you, that he would become a safety and security risk. It's been what, like two weeks? and. This case hits hard in a state like Colorado. They've got a really small population compared to other states and public perception is really strong. This guy's been sentenced in just under two weeks and people are still talking about it. I'm on this online blog forum called Web Sleuths. They have 144,000 members. People on there on Web Sleuths, they're like describing in great detail what they'd like to do to him. And the assault, I mean, I read reports saying that maybe he's been assaulted. This might not just be inmates that try to get to him. This could be staff members as well. I mean, the perception of the, the public, the perception of everyone. He's a target. They had to move him. And that's what they did. My sources, like, told me that the U.S. Marshals, they picked him up last night at the jail and they flew him out of Denver International and some people thought that this would be a move possibly to be closer to his family. This is a protective custody move, Mike, for sure. Hmm. And if you look what the feds did with James Holmes, the guy that killed the 12 people in uh, Aurora, Colorado in 2012. Colorado again. Normally, if the feds are going to place somebody in really restrictive custody, they would put them in what's called ADX Florence, which is like an underground prison. They have Taliban and people there. Well, they can't put him there because, again, 
The staff all live in Colorado. So he's a security uh, risk wherever he goes. Now they've got James Holmes in USP Allenwood, which is a really, really tough place. And he's got no outdate, James Holmes. It says state custody. And I venture to say, this is what's gonna happen to Chris Watts. And if you go to the Federal Bureau of Prisons website, it shows right now that Alan Wood, all visits have been transferred. I mean, all visits have been canceled. So I bet they have that facility locked down because they're anticipating him showing up there. Got it. Uh, what we do know about Watts, obviously a high profile inmate, described at the Weld County Jail anyway as model prisoner, quiet, respectful, all that. There is one instance though, Larry, where he was moved and it's reported other inmates are booing, yelling oh, yeah. at him, all that's going on. Is that the kind of incident where officials say we got to move him or do you think it was a done deal from, uh, from jump here? Well, I think from the very beginning they knew that he would be a threat and security risk, not just to himself. Remember the prison, wherever he is at, they don't want an incident. They call it when things jump off. People attack him, staff may have to jump in, other inmates can get injured, staff that, you know, the staff could get injured as well. But this guy will be taunted wherever they send him. They're gonna have to put him so deep that the, essentially they call it, they're gonna have to pipe sunlight into him. Now, if you compare him to Scott Peterson, who's also mm -hmm. death row, Scott Peterson's case is a little bit different. It gets down to inmate perception. The inmates, uh, they look at Scott, well, he went to trial, he lost, never pled guilty, never admitting to killing his wife, killing children and such. Well, they'll say, well, maybe there is a circumstance he didn't do it. But if you jump to Chris Watt, he admitted to killing his wife. He admitted to killing his kids. And in a prison, there's nothing that's worse than a child molester, somebody that plays with kids, and an informant. And if I had to put money on it, this is he's like the number one target for inmates in the country wherever he goes. They're going to get him. They will. And the feds are going to have to lock him down somewhere. I mean, this should have, Mike, this should have died down. Hmm by now and it hasn't everybody is fascinated with this case last time i was on here i i got a copy of the segment i put it on my youtube channel maybe usually i get a couple thousand views i've got over a hundred thousand views on my last segment on this yeah and i've got probably six or seven hundred people that want to kill this guy and they're describing in vicious detail what they want to do to him and yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, it, 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 the case has garnered great interest here for sure. As far as the move go, uh, we, we do not know the, the victim's family. They know, and uh, this move may not be permanent as well, so we'll stay on top of that. Larry Devine uh, with Wall Street Prison Consultants. Thanks again for your time. Appreciate it. And to that point, later this week, you don't, we don't not want to miss our HLN special, Family Massacre. Chris Watts exposed. That's uh, this Friday, December 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern.